Time for your late July fishing report here at Bud and Mary's in Amarada. Sadie's got ice cream out of the machine up front. Brooks is in, can clean some mahi. Let's go see what they caught today. Ah, it was a little tough today. A lot of small fish around still, undersized fish. Um, we did find a piece of debris and caught some nicer ones and stuff. Um, we had a handful of uh, skipjack tunas and while we were catching those, we had about a 300 pound blue marlin come up eating tunas right next to the boat. And we threw, uh, threw a skipjack to him on the right rod and he never ate it. It's exciting to see. It was uh, 20 feet from the boat and everybody got to see it. He had a skipjack speared on his, on his bill. It was, uh, on his nose, huh? You love getting to see it, that's for sure. Yep. But we, uh, I think we ended up with eight or nine dolphin and four tunas. But we caught plenty. Uh, we caught plenty of fish, just not a lot of keepers. Yeah. Brooks, good. Yeah. Excellent. Did you got a helper today, or just two? No, Billy's in the hospital. Oh, does he have a baby? Yeah. Brooks gave his mate some advice to have a child at a young age, so his mate wasn't there today. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Did you catch anything? We got uh, a lot of shakers, uh, a nice barracuda, and ten young. Gotcha. So a lot of small dolphin out there today, huh? They said they got some small dolphin let go, they kept the Altels for dinner and a big barracuda mixing it up. How's the boy doing, Joey? You getting him trained up? He's doing good. Scrubbing away. <laughs> We're going to see how good mommies are doing laundry because them stains might not come out of that uh, shirt. Yeah, we'll need to do a stain <laughs> spam shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. It was brand new this morning. Or stain free at least. We got stains now. Yeah, right. We're inside the tan man right now. Ryan's clean up after today's day of fishing. I took Sadie's ice cream. <laughs> they got a big bull yesterday, 35.6, right? 35.6, that's what he was. Yes. Now tell us how it came up, how you guys caught it. There's been a lot of schoolies around and not a lot of big ones this year. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of schoolies. That was our personally, our biggest one this year. We uh, just ride around patches, go from patch to patch. And um, it was actually funny, I was in the pit talking to the customer, just Kind of scanning and looking over their eyes, and I seen a big boil next to a patch, and I yelled at the captain, Yeah, what is that? And I thought, Oh crap, slammer! And uh, it was a nice surprise, you know, just because we haven't now seen Matt, that. Matt said you guys caught him really quick, and a big shark was trying to eat him. Is that true? Oh my goodness, yeah, I think we caught him in like within 10 15 minutes, if that. And uh, yeah, about a 250 pound dusky shark trying to eat him. I was, in, I was trying to whack him with the 12 foot gap, trying to keep him away from the bull. So they had, they were on these patches of weed, you know, when I say patches of weed patches. Catching some schoolies, I saw a big one blow up there, and they got him. That's their biggest one of the season so far. It was a and, nice one. Uh, a real nice fish. So you just never know when you're going to get a shot of that big bull, and they got theirs yesterday, so good job. Thank you, man. People should still come down and go fishing, right? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Keep on coming down absolutely, there. Absolutely, guys. We're still going to change a little bit day to day, but you never know when your day's coming. Yeah, I saw you wearing all of the Nick's stands. Yeah, he's looking at That's us. Let's yeah. grab a quick picture. I'm going to keep walking around. Cool. Yeah, he, he just wanted to take a picture by your boat. Well, even better. Well, much better. Dude, shake his hand. Good to meet you. Nice yeah, so maybe one day we'll do the three day. My, my husband's been From talking home, about it. Louisiana, South Louisiana. You are? Two. Shall we get in? Do I get in there too? One, two, three. All right, daddy's going to be well, jealous. Good to meet you guys. Thanks Daddy. for watching the videos too. <laughs> One of the highlights of this week was a giant wahoo caught aboard the Gone Fishing, which that's the new Gone Fishing. Captain Glenn got it about a month ago. It's bigger, faster, nicer, AC and all that stuff. But anyhow, apparently they're in a school of mahi. This giant wahoo right at 70 pounds came up eating one of the mahi. And I believe it ate at the same raw that mahi was on. They caught it on that, but it was huge. I mean, Josh is a big guy. He's the first mate on the boat there. And Alex is with him too as a second mate. And that fish was big. It's one of the biggest wahoo we've seen here. And we don't catch many wahoo or 50 pounds here, let alone when you're talking 70 pounds. So that was one of the fish of the week. Probably the fish of the week, no doubt about it. And uh, could be Captain Glenn's, it could be his biggest wahoo ever. There's not many bigger than that caught here. So hopefully we can get an interview with him. But if not, you know, enjoy some of these pictures and videos of it. Glenn was just in the engine room doing some boat work. When you're on a boat, there's always something to work on, so. For sure. You got the big wahoo. Is that the biggest wahoo you ever caught in Amarada? Yes. How big? Awesome. 70? 70 pounds. And when I came up eating a small dolphin? Came up. Schoolie? Yes. It was the most awesome sight. <clears throat> this thing, the guy wound the schoolie up, and we always leave a decoy out there, and told him to leave it there, and he picked a spin reel up to cast it. At that point, the wahoo skied on this thing right beside the boat most awesome thing right he's hollering god that thing's 55 pounds <laughs> you know and then he just he kept there and this and uh, the lady brought hers in and she stopped and left it and come over to watch the show over here right then when he disappeared we couldn't get him present the bait right to him we were trying to 
present a little pilcher to him. And that's not what he wanted. He sure wanted that dolphin. So, so he wouldn't eat the pilcher. He wanted so to eat the whole dolphin. He wanted to eat the whole dolphin. And then, you know, he went out and did another circle by the thing. And then he disappeared for a second. Then the right flat line just bent over and there he was. On a dolphin. On a dolphin. 20 pound spin, 50 pound leader, no wire. A little 5 0 hook. 5 0 hook hooked in the upper. 70 pound wire. Is that the biggest awesome. one you've seen, Alex? That's uh, the biggest one I've seen. I know you caught one trolling with Landon the other day, so there must be a couple coming two through. Two weeks ago, a 25 pounder on my boat, and then two weeks later, it was a 70 pounder on the awesome. on on big boat. Well, congrats to the catch. The people appreciate it. Oh, yeah. The guy's been fishing me for 20 years. And that's the biggest fish he's caught. Awesome. They were due for uh, they were due for a trophy. They were due then. for that trophy. Awesome. Well, good job, guys. Thanks. So giant wahoo on the gone fishing. You never know when your day is coming. Who bought the big grouper? Huh? Who bought the big grouper? Jim did. Jimbo. Fish of the day, huh? Are you the best fisherman of the bunch? Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. I wouldn't say that. Well, you but caught the biggest fish today, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah it's a big yellowhead grouper? Yeah, let's, let's lift them up here. So tell us how many pounds it weighs. The beer was the problem. Out. There you go. Look at that yellowhead grouper. How deep? 500, 600? Yep. Were you tired cranking them up? You know what? He, he, did, well, he wasn't as hard as I thought. I'm a little out of shape. So I, I thought I was going to gas out and here I'm holding them. Well, nice job. That's the fish of the day. Yeah, that was great. Have you ate those before? Um, no, I've never had them. It's my first. I hope Raymond told you they're really bad and they shouldn't eat it. Yeah, no. he said he said the, it has crudus. 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 Crudus disease. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. been around. That's when the crew eats them. So you got to be careful with that. So. Well, nice job. You got some tiles and a bunch of yelltails too? Yeah, oh, I got yeah. some decent tiles too. There's yeah, a blue line tile fish underneath there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're solid. They're solid size. So they got couple of groupers, big yellow heads, yellow tails. That's a great tile fish in the blue line. You can see the blue line underneath their eye. All those are super good eating as well. Yeah. Deep water. There Where are you guys from? In there too. Oh, Illinois. Illinois? Yes, this, sir. this has to be Illinois, right? <laughs> this, this one would be mine. The biggest tile fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a nice one. He can be good eating. Okay, sure. It's a big grouper. Here. Yeah, we've come here, uh, Glenn Miller, we fished with Glenn, we fished with Raymond, and... Uh, for 20 years. For tw over 20 years, probably. Wow. You probably yeah. had some good days in the well, past. Well, yeah, um, yeah. And that's well, the first yellow group you ever caught? First one. So in 20 years. I've caught, I've caught some, you know, snowies yeah. and whatnot, but that, yeah. that, that's a, uh, that was uh, on my bucket uh, list. And I can scratch it up. Yeah. <laughs> All sorts so of fun stuff. Yeah. Do you stay yeah. here in town, or where do you stay? Um, typically, typically we stay with you. Okay, awesome. They stay here in the room with uh, us. That, that top room is awesome. The penthouse yeah. up there is really nice. Yeah, awesome. it's got a nice walkout balcony. That thing's awesome. Perfect. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah. How was the mate today? I don't know him. Clayton? Clayton? Good guy. Clayton's great. Have you fished a muffin before? Yes. I know him since he was this big. He doesn't stop talking. He talks that time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you guys go. What do you call that when someone gives you like a... What's it, what does that refer to? You gave us like a, almost like a review. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. good review. Good review. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I was going to try to sneak the grouper away, but they're watching me, so I'm going to have to do that. Well, Said good job, you guys. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yep, no problem. Thanks. Raymond, nice job on our grouper. Feel free to send the numbers later. We're here with the bean. He's got an inshore report for us. He's cleaning dinner. Oh, yeah. What's fighting? Oh, man, it's hot out, but so is the fishing. Uh, there's been a lot of snooks around, there's been a couple tarping around, uh, snappers for the table. Uh, also been playing shots at Kermit. And if you want to and you're up for it, you want to wrestle with a couple of goliaths, you've been able to do that too. So, a lot of cool variety and hot weather. That's it, the heat is here, but he said the fishing's good, so if you can handle the heat, it's still good to go. And they got dinner fish, that's what they usually keep in the inshore on the back inch side, snappers and um, great eating, one of the best eating fish we catch down here. So. Sure. He's cleaning them up right now. Yeah, hard to beat. Is that a dog snapper? Is it a dog or mahogany? No, mahogany is lighter colored. <laughs> and the dog. schoolmaster got striped. So I think it's a little dog snapper. That's a golf snapper. That's what it is. All right, well, thanks for the report. Absolutely. We see Cloud9 pulling in here now. We're going to see what they caught and uh, get another offshore boat. They're my July parade. Perfect. 
They came all the way down from Syracuse, New York. Down here to go with Captain Greg on the Cloud Nine. They got a bunch of mahi, some triple tails, a skipjack, you see a big cuda. Everybody had fun? Awesome. How, how long have you been fishing with them? Oh, I've been here like four or five years now. A while. Yep. Awesome. A while. What so was that for, Greg? Good, good so, sign? You know, good it's, fish, there's right? a lot of good sign this afternoon on the way in. There was a bunch of weed that came up on the current on the inside. And uh, we found some big patches at 950 this morning that had a lot of bait on them, but the skipjacks were up. So there's all the birds were on the skipjacks, but we, we found a few patches, chummed them with some live bait that we caught. And uh, you can see we caught some dolphin. We found a couple nice pieces of debris that had the triple tails on them. Caught a skippy on the feather. Barracuda on another patch and 25 of their friends. It was pretty good. We had to work for it. Yeah, we didn't miss a whole lot today, but. So triple tail, if you guys don't, usually they'll be on debris, floating. Someone's on weed patches, and if you see that a lot of times, they'll know that there's debris in the area. Yeah, but there's, it's, it's interesting. We haven't, they raised the uh, size limit. They gotta be 18 inches now. Hard to catch them, right? Yeah, it's hard to find an 18 inch triple tail. We inches. found three in the last three days with these guys, so we're uh, pretty happy about it. They had a little bit of luck. Absolutely delicious. There was six or seven on each piece of debris, but these are the two biggest. Our art teacher, where'd he go? Right here. You're the art teacher? Yeah. He uh, he makes this, he sees the debris, he makes this big cast with the rod. And I'm like, all right, jig it. And that big triple tail says, and I go, okay, let him eat it. And he jigged it again. I'm like, oh no, stop. And he piles on. Caught him on the, caught him on the big hook. Nice. Yeah, it was fun. What type of art you teach? Uh, studio art up in upstate New York in a little town called Fairport. How long have you known so, that for? Uh, 21 years. Twenty-one years. I got a little bit of fishing background, but not like this. This is big time out here. And what type of fishing up there then? Uh, I fish on the National Walleye Tour. Okay. So I do a little bit of walleye fishing, a little bit of perch fishing in the Finger Lakes. You know they got up with the leads in the walleye, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we may know those guys, but we don't associate any of them. Just checking. So. There's a couple guys like that around here too. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for the interview. No, you're welcome. Good job welcome. on fish. Thanks. Yes. Walk and pull of, and then some. Walk and pull of dinner. You guys have fun? Yes. Have you fished that room before? He has. I have. Yeah. Lazon coming with some mahis. They've been fishing here for a while. Her first time, but he's been here a seasoned veteran. Sounds like he's been with a handful of people. Who's the best? One, who's the best one you've been with so far? Oh, I always have to ask that. Put me under the guns. Yeah. Uh, weed edge and. 900 had some fish on it for us finally. A lot of keepers or shorts or mixed bag? Mixed bag. We had uh, thrown back a few and and kept a few, you know. Found a piece of bamboo that had some fish on it and a couple patches that had some fish on it. Perfect. How many did you wind up with? I think 14 or 15. Perfect. Something like that. Yeah. All right, so kind of the same report for most of the boats there. Some keepers, some shorts. Pick away, be patient. Some debris holding fish, and he said he found bamboo. They found a piece of debris over there as well. Yep. So make your opportunities count. Come on with dinner. Go ahead, come down here. Some lanes, a couple of yotos. All that good stuff. Man. You hear your mark, you just let them know where you're at. They're gonna drop your fish in your bucket, okay? They're gonna go through all of them. Once they get all the fish back to you, you're gonna go through our numbers, make sure everyone's nice and legal. And then once all the fish are back and everyone's squared away, we're gonna fillet them up if you want. If you wanna take your fish whole and do something with them, that's perfectly fine too. But like I said, we will make fillets here if you want. We got bags to put them in. We'll be at these three tables right here and uh, we'll get you cleaned up. And this is where the Miss Island run it. The the marina. All right, we'll keep off snapper. Two head, three throw. Okay. Three I'm going to give you an update on the inshore fishing, which we call the backcountry. Captain Jim Wilcox has been on the action again, and he had permit and bonefish in some of his recent trips. There's also been some tarpon around too, plus plenty of trout, some snook. Another angler we caught some lemon sharks today. A young kid who was super excited with Captain Clyde Upchurch. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, we're going to keep scrolling through these pictures and tell you who caught what. So I don't always catch the boats coming in to get the report, but I do know on the broad-minded, got a young angler out with some of his family. They got an African pompano. They got some big mutton snappers. We're going to show you some of these pictures, and uh, the African pompano this time of year is a nice surprise. Now, usually we get them in the winter, early spring, but you just never know we're going to have that good fish. They also had a bunch of mahi that day, so sometimes you can mix it up. So they had mahi, African pompano, tilefish, and mutton snapper that trip, and that was a killer day for them. They had a nice swordfish, about 120 pounds. They had a nice queen snapper, a snowy grouper, and a bunch of mahi. So that was a really good trip there on the 42 Freeman. 
Um, Billy Bob was the mate, and I think Billy Bob's about to have a kid today, so pretty soon we'll probably see another little baby kid running around here, so congrats, Billy. The sword fishing can be hit and miss, you know? They had that great trip, then they went a couple days later, and they fished all day, but no bites, and that happens sometimes, you know? You can go out there one day and have that killer trip where you get that fish of a lifetime, and you can go the very next day and not get a bite, but that's big game fishing. You know, it happens marlin fishing, sword fishing, all that, tarpon fishing. So just gotta keep your head up there and keep going, keep trying. Hope you enjoyed this week's fishing report. Coming out here at Budden Murray's now, I'm and check it out. You know, check out all the boats on the website, buddenmurrays.com. Give the Marine Office a call at 305-664-2461 to book a trip. And, uh, you know, we got rooms here, we got houseboats here, we got inshore, which are called backcountry boats, as well as offshore boats. And lobster season's coming up too, so in two days, many of the season starts, so there'll be a lot of lobster caught, I'm sure. Hopefully we'll see you down here soon.